Hi, Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. So my car won't start unless I pour a little bit of gasoline down the uh, carburetor throat. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, some of the things that may cause that. Um, first of all, what you want to do is with the engine off and uh, take the air cleaner off and look down the carburetor, pump the gas once or twice, and you should see a steady, one steady stream of gas squirting into the bore here. So <clears throat> if you don't, then you probably have an accelerator pump circuit problem. And we'll, we'll, I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, so what I figured out was that, uh, like I say, I have to pour gas in the carburetor. But once it gets started, it idles okay and it runs great at high speed so I kind of ruled out the ignition because ignition is something you always want to check on first so so let's uh, let's take the top off here and see what we can figure out I showed you about the accelerator pump squirting uh, the other thing was well, since I'm thinking about it is uh, after you run the car and if you're having trouble with it flooding, etc., uh, you smell gas, whatever, uh, turn the engine off after it's been running hot and look down and see if gas is dribbling out on the Venturi there. Uh, that indicates there's a leak in the accelerator pump circuit also. Another thing to look for. So on the accelerator pump, uh, you want to be sure, did you leave the, uh, or excuse me, did you put the, uh, main discharge check ball okay that's the check ball that uh, uh, controls whether the gas comes goes out into the bore or not come on and get a screw take this off Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, get the gasket off here. Uh, right here is the main discharge. And right here is where the gas squirts out. Okay, so what we want to make sure of the T is in there. Okay, and we have this little brass spring, and then we have the check ball. Okay, so I want to make sure that's in there now. Um, we talked about the gas leaking out after a hot run. Uh, one thing you might do is uh, put the check ball in there and get a, a little drift punch in there and tap it lightly uh, to help build a, a trough in there for that check ball to seal. So it may not be sealing. And the check balls are generally pretty hard, so they're stainless steel. And then you put your T in here. Um, you know, you can stake it a little bit just by taking a chisel and tapping it there a little bit. Uh, but basically it's going to stay in there anyway. So, um, one of the problems is it's not getting any gas. So first thing I, I when uh, you check the accelerator pump and, uh, Check the float, especially on this. Now, the principle is the same on most any carburetor, but when, with carburetors that have the uh, float so close to the sides here, I've had uh, occasions where they would rub on the side, and they're not centered that well, and so you want to check that out. Make sure it's not hanging up. Just feel it. See if it's going up and down okay. Uh, the other thing to check is the needle. And 
look at the bite and tip does it look swelled up because if it sits around and the ethanol uh, separates from the gas and sits there in there with that needle it's going to ruin your vitamin tip and if it gets swelled up what it'll do is stick into the seat here and not allow fuel to fill up the carburetor okay uh, the other thing is uh, check your float level And then last but least, a weak fuel pump um, can keep the float bowl from filling up. And uh, that and evaporation while it's sitting uh, could uh, be a problem. Because uh, when it's cold, the first thing you can do is you step on the gas all the way down and let up. And what that does is it squirts a little bit of gas into the bore here. Um, when it's cold, it, your engine needs a little extra gas, so that's what that's doing. So check your float level, um, and then check your uh, fuel pump. If it's too weak, it's not going to fill a bowl. And in this particular carburetor, it's three to five pounds it should be at. Uh, if you go to our website in our technical section, you can find a... Uh, uh, it, click on technical at the top of the screen, and you'll find a place where on the left where it says something like... Uh, 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 fuel pump pressure and we have a list of full fuel pump pressures for uh, different carburetors so check that out so you know what it is or you can check your motors manual um, so and if you're if you're wondering about the fuel the excuse me the accelerator pump not working right uh, we'll, we'll test it out here we'll, we'll put a little uh, mineral spirits in here Okay. So we may have to pump it once or twice. Okay. Already I can see it's working, okay? So gas is coming from the accelerator pump when it goes down. And when it goes up, the accelerator pump and the gravity of the water uh, fills up the well here. And as you can see, it is going through. Now, if I plug this off, you can see how it's squirting out. See how it does? That's what you're looking for. Hopefully, you can see that squirt. Nice, good squirt. All right. So that tells me that's all working very well. So um, that's how you test it once you get get everything in here like, like it's supposed to be. So there you go. I hope that helps. So if you have to fill up, uh, or excuse me, pour some gas in your carburetor to get it started, uh, especially when it's cold, uh, you ruled out the ignition already, uh, then uh, some of these things uh, is uh, the thing for you to look at. Okay. Thank you for watching. You can buy parts for these carburetors at uh, mikescarb.com. Thank you.